Reviewing SmartCraft documentation for Mercury, I found that interesting stuff that I never met before. Uh, these trolling buttons. What means trolling buttons? Troll me, troll me. Uh, it means for controlling RPM of your Tahoe, Mercury Tahoe gauge when it is in the trolling mode. Let's first discuss what is the trolling mode and uh, why do we need a separate buttons for this if they are here and uh, then we uh, review specific of uh, mounting uh, instruction and finally install it here what is the trolling mode i finally edited my summer materials and made a video you can see the link in the description below there will be a lot of details here we consider just briefly every sc1000 uh, mercury gauge where is sc1000 i don't know where it is written has an option to enter a trolling mode and then control rpms of your outboard with these buttons not control uh, well control and set them so that your vessel is always uh, almost uh, keep almost remember this word almost uh, the same speed uh, uh, regardless of wave or wind uh, changes so you control rp you set rpm and the outboard will uh, hold uh, them why do we need separate buttons for the trolling then the answer is simple a straight and short answer is convenience uh, detailed answer if you watched uh, this video in the description below then you understood that how inconvenient to uh, handle these uh, buttons when they are there so these small buttons and especially when i often sit here yeah yoga exercises so uh, i want this button somewhere here and that's where we will install them i will be especially often sitting here i think even there when i install an autopilot uh, here on this vessel uh, i have also uh, a lot of material about autopilot full full installation guide uh, etc on my channel and remember i told almost always the same speed almost so in fact you will need uh, to handle uh, and click these buttons quite often it's very inconvenient to have them there uh, to have small buttons so we want them here and we will install them here let's uh, review briefly um packaging so uh, my model uh, this one you can pause and see details uh, include uh, connected directly to smartcraft jump uh, junction box uh, there are other options also available i don't cover them here now then uh, it's built as a, a 52 millimeters gauge so uh, but not exactly you uh, don't drill just the hole uh, because uh, of this uh, specific here we will consider soon so you have this spacer this stuff let's call it shell I think there is some professional name in the user manual, but I'm lazy to read it. And a gasket and the user manual. Would be actually the best way to set trolling speed? Well, to set it as speed and uh, not as RPM. And you can see it is speeder gauge and trolling buttons. And yes, here you can set uh, trolling speed, not RPM. That would be nice. However, if you have a 40, 50, 60 EFI uh, Mercury outboard, which is old, for example, uh, 29, uh, 10, you cannot do this because you don't have puddle or pito, pito, pito sensor. So uh, you can provide GPS to this gauge. The link there in the description below. Uh, it is in English, in that English, unfortunately, sorry. So, uh, yes, you can provide GPS, but it is not suitable for trolling, again, in the link below. So, since that time, I actually read and learned more, uh, and I read uh, SmartCraft uh, documentation, and I realized why exactly you can't provide a puddle sensor uh, to this engine, and I will explain you now.
Well, here you have SmartCraft documentation and gauges compatibility. Compatibility, sorry. So, and uh, we are interested about our engine, uh, which is uh, this, uh, actually from 30. Okay, well, four stroke. And for example, my engine falls to uh, this um, uh, equipment, to this uh, range. Uh, and uh, you can see the serial range does not allow the input for any external digital sensor with the exception of depth transducer uh, blah 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 uh, because there are no provisions uh, to hook up a six pin smart craft board harness first i meditated about this okay so because there is like no way to connect some uh, cable well Probably then I can do it myself. I was thinking that probably Mercury just uh, don't have a place for the connector and I can uh, cut SmartCraft, I can research on SmartCraft here and uh, do it on my own. No. Before I tell you why no, uh, I can show you the table of uh, supported sensors, yeah? So we, we don't see any puddle or pyto pitot tube here so and for the new engines uh, for the new range uh, we we can see we can see we can see this statement like uh, all engines uh, in this serial number range have the capability of connection some external digital sensor along with a six pin board harness they are not listed here for some reason but doesn't matter you can do this because there is place for six pin uh, board harness so let's get back to this six pin board harness i was thinking that okay i will cut uh, smart craft and uh, do it on my own and that's where you can realize how exactly it works and why you cannot do it yourself so think uh, attentively about this six pin smart craft board harness connects tanks and the puddle will to the engine the sensor data is then sent to the engine ECM computer of the engine which will broadcast it on the smart craft network so if I cut smart craft the puddle sensor will not provide any data directly to smart craft because the data is sent to the engine computer and then to the smart craft and six pin uh, connector uh, on the new engines uh, is coming from the engine so it means that brains of the engine don't support processing of this uh, sensors puddle and other one so there is no way to cut and do tricks no period so here here we don't have this six pin connector no it's terminator and test connector uh, don't dream forget about it that's why we are going to use trolling buttons here and now let's consider a specific of the uh, template for them you can see two options difficult option uh less difficult option so you don't drill just straight hole you you have uh, to do space uh, for uh this stuff you can see yeah uh, here uh without spacer situation is let's say worth you need to make more room with spacer less so uh keep it in mind yeah I don't have exactly this 19 and, six and 56, uh, uh, I have quite, quite close, I checked, so let's see how it works. And the specific is that 56 here, it's almost edges of this frame. When you put uh, this uh, nut, nut, you can realize it's, it's even out of this uh, frame. So you will need quite precise drilling here well i would prefer to have actually a wider frame 
and uh, less uh, problems with drilling uh, if I would design this gauge. But okay, if for space saving, yeah, that's the solution. Here is a brief instruction uh, or options about uh, different types of connections directly to the junction box or through some harness. Yeah. So guys, if you looked attentively, there were some tricks, I will tell about them later. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit challenging um, drilling, so it's not so straight. I tested well, it looks like a kind of gaps there. So I tried to uh, adjust more um, here. Uh, well, it doesn't go that well anyway, because look uh, here, I don't know if you see, it's not just about this embossing part, but actually that part, even when you use space. So I think uh, that this uh, parts touch somewhere here but uh, why then they did this second option i don't know but probably they assume that when you use the gasket then everything is fine i also have to check w what is the right direction for the spacer this or the opposite one i will check it later but when you use the gasket it it sits quite fine maybe it should be with the gasket i don't know but the most important point that I'm I don't care too much about sealing in that place because if water come here it goes out there so and the buttons are sealed I hope quite well so basically that's it I will put this nut from the opposite side it goes very well and guys final connection is not going to be soon as you can see I'm doing everything here so please like subscribe and uh, see the final connection, you will see this later, after all, like, everything will be new in this board.